Meet Susanna Wesley, the mother of Methodism. Right now she has her prayer apron over her head. Mother! 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 Amelia! This is my time of repose. It's my time of prayer. I have told you, when my apron is over my head, I am praying. That is not the time I can be bothered. Mother! Mother! Mother, I'm hungry! Amelia, child, I will feed you when it's time to eat. Remember what I told you, this apron signifies my prayer time, my time alone with the Lord, and that is my priority right now. Go, I will feed you later. Sorry, Mother. Susanna Wesley was born on January 20th, 1669. She married Samuel Wesley on November 11th, 1688. Susanna and Samuel Wesley had 19 children, 10 of which survived into adulthood. Why is she considered the mother of Methodism? Because of her two sons, John and Charles, the founders of Methodism. Susanna experienced many hardships throughout her life. Her husband left her and the children for over a year because of a dispute. To her absent husband, Susanna Wesley wrote, I am a woman, but I am also the mistress of a large family. And though the superior charge of the souls contained in it lies upon you, yet in your long absence I cannot but look upon every soul you leave under my charge as a talent committed to me under a trust. I am not a man nor a minister, yet as a mother and a mistress I felt I ought to do more than I had yet done. I resolved to begin with my own children, in which I observed the following method. I take such a proportion of time as I can spare every night to discourse with each child apart. On Monday I talk with Molly, on Tuesday with Hetty, Wednesday with Nancy, Thursday with Jackie, Friday with Patty, Saturday with Charles. The children were raised strictly. They were taught to cry softly, to eat what was put before them, and not to raise their voices or play noisily. Physical punishment was used but confession of faults could avoid it. All but one of their children learned to read from the age of five, including the girls. Susanna was extremely progressive for her times. It is because of her bravery and intelligence that we have the Methodist Church today. You know, after giving birth to 19 children, I think what Susanna Wesley was really doing under that apron was taking a little nap.